Hi, this is Rich Fisher, and we're coming to you from the 5th Annual Steiner Athletic Hall of Fame Induction Banquet. And we're happy to have a few of the inductees that we're going to be talking to and interviewing tonight, and having them talk about their exploits and what they're doing these days, and uh, maybe a few other surprises. So, thanks, and I hope you enjoy. Champion, the class of 2010, Steiner Athletic Hall of Fame. This is Maria Prada with Fish for Scores, and I'm here with Sam Steiner, and he is being honored for his 1966 role on the football team, and uh, I'm really just curious, how does it feel to be honored tonight? Well, uh, this is uh, 44 years later, and uh, the team that I played on uh, that senior year was 9-0, we were undefeated, and it was all about that. That's why probably the early summer of the was at that. And I was part of it. But, uh, it's exciting. It's fun. So you have to tell everybody about your namesake. My namesake, my, my great grandpa. Uh, that was his farm, the original Steiner High School on Clockner and Hamilton Avenue. That was his uh, estate farm, and he was nice enough to donate some land to the original Steiner High, and that's how that went up, I believe, in '54. That's why we're all here tonight. Kind of. So my last question is, who are you most looking forward to seeing tonight? Well, I was real interested in seeing uh, my coach, Pete Brusha. I saw him and some teammates from the 1966. So, yes, I saw them. It's a lot of people. A lot of good memories. You guys are reliving here. Yeah, that's great. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. And congratulations. Thank you so much. Good luck out there. All right, I'm sorry to take you away from Maria, but I'm back now, and we have with us Gary Homan. Gary is a very special guest because he was inducted into the first class back in 2006. He lives in Minnesota, and yet he comes back to this every single year and shows his support. And Gary, first I want to thank you on behalf of the committee yeah, for your thanks. support that you give us. Thanks, Rich. I appreciate it. And uh, just tell us what it is about this that makes you come back every year. Well, I, I think number one is, uh, you know, I get to see some friends and a lot of teammates I played with that are getting inducted into the Hall of Fame, and I just think that it's a, sort of a responsibility to come back here and not only see those guys, but support all the people who are getting in and support the, the entire program, the Hall of Fame program as well, and I, I just think it's a fantastic event, have a great time, and you know, a lot of it's personal. I, I, I love doing it because I, I feel good about doing it, but also I like... Uh, coming back and seeing all my friends as well. It means so much to me and I'll never forget about people that helped me get to where I was. So I'm here today with Randy and Todd Jacobs who are being honored for the Steiner Hall of Fame and we're all just curious. I mean, what are some of your fondest memories from the teens? Uh, one of my fondest, fondest memories is being part of the 88 um, state championship soccer team and uh, being here today with a lot of those uh, guys out there uh, reflecting on those times, and uh, really that's the one that sticks out in my mind. <coughs> what about you, Randy? I also have course. to say the state championship season, and uh, the coaches and the players, and uh, we're all still good friends, and uh, those were times that we'll never forget. Okay, and we have to mention you two are brothers, so yes. what does it feel like to be honored together? Well, it's kind of natural for me. We've played together our entire lives. On every single team, I uh, was a forward. He was a midfielder, and uh, we grew up together. And uh, it is kind of natural. Okay, and I'm sure everybody wants to know what you guys are up to these days. Um, right now, right now, believe it or not, I'm still uh, in the Steiner community, um, teaching and coaching. So uh, really, um, that's what it's all about. And my passion is, is Steiner High School and being around students, the athletes, and uh, just trying to teach them and coach them the way I was coached, and I'm just uh, there to try and pass that on, what I've learned uh, from the these legacy guys. Passing on the legacy. That's right. right. How about you? Well, hopefully one day I'll follow in his footsteps and start coaching. For once. Yes, yeah, start coaching <laughs> in uh, maybe the high school level, uh, teenage level, maybe competitive sports, but uh, I'll stick with soccer at some point in time. I'll get into coaching. All right, maybe you guys will see each other on the field again, huh? Oh, yeah. Let's hope so. All 
right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We thank appreciate you. it. And thank uh, you. congratulations again. Thank, thank you very much. Appreciate it. With Brian Welsh, who's being honored for his 1975 season with Steiner Soccer. Uh, is there anything you want to say to your, your former teammates? I, I'm part of, the, in my opinion, the greatest team that's ever played its time. And it's not because our accomplishments were that great. We're co-champions um, in 1975, and we didn't have a great record. We were in 1912, uh, meaning that you know one of the things that is the standard is to go undefeated. But I was part of a great collective. And to this day, my greatest quote is that nobody worried about accolades. People worried about the kind of soccer we played, and people worried about our friendships. And our friendships still are here. There's probably 18 guys coming tonight. There's probably nine that I speak with on a regular basis. We're back now, and we have with us a representative of the 1978 baseball team, Dave Gallagher. Gal, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me, Fish. We, we appreciate it. Just tell us, you know, your thoughts on that team and how everything went and, you know, just what it was all about. You know, it, I think I, all, all together the, the thing that stands out in my mind is, yeah, it's a state championship, but they were my friends. You know, so people probably look at me in my career and say, you know, a local kid plays nine years in the major leagues. It's, it's got to be the most outstanding accomplishment in baseball. But it, it isn't because, for me, that was – hard work and that was my job and it wasn't an easy thing for me I, I had like what 19 straight one-year contracts this playing baseball with your friends and accomplishing something you could see us up on the stage and we're, we're friends to this day and that is it doesn't even compare to playing major league baseball i mean on a positive side i'd take 10 of those right state championships in high school than, than my major league career and how great is it when you come back with these guys you're, you've all gone on to separate lives. You've all done everything. You all revert back to what you were when you get here tonight. Yeah, don't you? Our stories that we started talking about, you know, things that happened on the bus and things that happened with our girlfriends and the things that we did on weekends. And, you know, it's um, it takes you back and makes you feel young again, for sure. Uh, but really, I mean, I, I enjoy even seeing all of the inductees talking. I don't know a lot of them. Right. I mean, I don't know them personally because they were either years before me graduated or some now years after. And I love to hear their stories and what they accomplished and, and who they give credit to. Uh, I, I absolutely enjoy the evening every year.